hello everyone this is me B lucifer ryan and today i'm gonna show you how exactly you can create test classes uh, how exactly you can create test cases in java programming language so let's start go to the java project simple java project keep the project name this is myself uh, testing and and go to the next uh, create finish so this is a like simple step of how to test your uh, program in java because uh, when i search on internet i just found some of the test cases uh, which is like simple one like adding two number but this one is also simple uh, but uh, it's quite different than those test cases so i'm just creating one package name and let's go to the project and create a car uh, project name is car or uh, class name is car and just create finish so inside car i'm just going to create three variables uh, which might be public uh, int and id so there will be another one will be string name of the car and the third one is public uh, string and uh, description okay so this is also simple uh, project uh, just i am just going to show you how how you can really do create a test cases and test your project so go to getter and setter and select all and put that into the last member okay click now um, now i'm just going to create a test suite here just save it and uh, go to the file and new uh, j you need test case yeah so in this case the package name is test and okay let's change the package name to testing and name will be uh, car test okay so let's go and i'm using j unit 4 for this testing uh, you, you have to okay perform this following action okay all right now look it will create one proxy method for us so we are just going to use the same thing here uh, using annotation uh, test oh my goodness it's so hot here in texas uh, and our race is also not working so let's go and create one method public void and uh, let me write the test cases test for car so and now uh, we have a car class right so we have to create the instance of that car class and create new uh, car class um, so after that car dot uh, i'm just going to set the name uh, we have set id right so okay we have to import here so sometime when you do try to do quick then it might get some error or some mistake so car dot set id we have id right uh, uh, id as an integer uh, we'll, i'm just inserting one and again i'm just going to put set uh, name so in this case i'm not using description because it will take some quite more time and i have and i'm just trying to show you some more things so um, set vj all right now uh, i am using assert dot equals method mm, assert dot equals where did that is here mm -hmm. okay so expected value will be mm, expected value will be pj and the actual value will be um, car right car dot get value we have get name so that will be the expect expected actual value okay now it will work the save it and try to run this method as a run as uh, sorry run as j unit test cases 
when you run okay look uh, there is no failure and it is succeed succeed right so succeed when it is succeed you you can see here a green mark so let me try and create uh, something let me make it here here bj1 then in this case it will show the red mark in our here yeah, yeah red mark right so expected result is bj1 but what's bj so this is the thing how you can run a test cases but now if you have different class let's make little bit uh, complicated now you have a different class with weapon weapon how you pronounce sorry for my pronunciation weapon and inside weapon you have a list of method public and you have a list as a string and you have a method name called gate what it is going there okay sorry what is gate weapon 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 yes weapon might be anything it it, it could be gone <coughs> sorry <coughs> it could be gone it it could be rifle it will be a uh, pistol uh, anything else so just go and create a new list with the name string and so here we go so just i'm just trying something different uh, creating a list as a method and uh, trying to put something in the list so just go and create new list uh, it will create new array list right so don't get confused and create uh, array list um, yes let's go and create array list okay inside here array list i'm just going to add something like add a string uh, as a bj like this you can pass array also you can create one method and pass some array of weapon uh, weapon and yeah you can do something like that uh, let let me create this one first and then we will discuss about that one also and i can show you how like how exactly you you can debug and go back to the code uh, so return null is going to be return list right list so let's go back to the test cases here we are going to create new test site inside the same package test case will be weapon w e a p o n weapon t r or or we can we can use the same uh, car test uh, all right i'm just going to put here mm, uh, public void and it is like testing we weapon right now i am just pronouncing properly and my typing goes wrong sorry weapon and weapon is mm, let's go here and create the instance of that class uh, weapon class weapon is wp equal to new and weapon uh, my goodness w a p o n okay this here and trying to create the list of a string and create the list and create the new array list uh, array and list yes here we go so uh, okay now in this case i'm just going to insert a string here and let me import something here list now uh, lt dot add the same thing we have to let me do let me use intelligence here all right add will be what is our value inside there it's bj right and lt dot add uh, string will be lucifer and 
what we are trying to assert equals right what is that okay object expected object okay now expected value will be uh, list right lt and actual value will be uh, weapon dot get weapon a weapon because this is the method which we are using in weapon class so in this case we are we are calling uh, this method this get weapon method so just by calling this method it will show you like uh, the value you are passing in your test cases is correct or not so just save it and try to run this one mm, okay let me let me let me let me let me let me show you something let me make mistake and let me show you how to debug so you guys will understand right what exactly i am trying to show you so value and if you pass uh, list here and if you are going to put a value because without debugging you are not a good programmer uh, what i actually ex uh, expect that from you guys so save it and try to run because uh, in this case uh, this test case will show us uh, an error right and so let me clear this one so mm, run this case test weapon select that one and run as j unit test cases so yes because in our expected value is bj only bj but uh, we are supposed to get two name name uh, two members bj and lucifer so that is the uh, error so let's go and debug it because if you don't know anything then just debug it then it will create you lot of ideas uh, to go inside the code and see what exactly you are trying to insert and what you are returning in the list so save it and go to the here and just try to debug this one so by this uh, by debugging you know when i'm just trying to show you like by debugging you will know something new how to debug in j unit test cases okay let's go look uh, i am here in error list right so in weapon uh, we are just using that one so let's go and press f6 let's go to the list in the list lt what i am getting uh, i am getting nothing okay and now i am getting vj right because if one step is down is vj and next step when it will go it will get vj and lucifer both cool and size is 2 so let's go to the next line uh, it is getting uh, look in value it is getting only b j not not the uh, not the two two value in in our test cases in test cases it is getting only the first value uh, b j right so it is not getting uh, both value so when you go here in this method then click f5 to go inside that method so uh, what this is our real method right in in the weapon class we have method get weapon so in this method uh, let's see the actual thing is pass whatever we are passing bj and lucifer is coming here in the list or not so let's go to the f6 uh, okay it's, uh, bj is there right and see this let me see uh, okay bj is there and uh, let's go to the last step look there is a yellow line yellow is sound count is two so two value is here look bj and lucifer is passing here that's why from this case the method which we are implementing is passing bj and lucifer but our test case in our test case in our test case actually in our test case we are only getting one value bj that's why that is the issue in our case so let's try to run this uh, project again so look expecting bj lucifer so how you can solve this one is go here and just change this one to 
uh, list right uh, once you make these changes then try to run this program run as j unit is yahoo greenland so it is working perfectly so this case like from this scenario you can go inside the code go inside the method and see the method which you are using is what, what value it is passing in this in this method and the test case what you are using is passing the exact thing or not so by de debugging you can know these things so thank you guys just try to like and subscribe my videos so in the future i can add something more about rest web services soap web services and so on thank you guys thank you for watching